Hey everybody, welcome back to Buckeye Blades. I've got another blade unboxing for you. And if you guys already know what it is, and you've already seen the thumbnail, but I haven't unboxed it yet. So I'm going to be using the Natrix, the Kershaw Natrix that I opened last unboxing to open this up. So let's, uh, let's open this up, check out, see what we got. And uh, hope everybody's doing well. Here in the old Buckeye State, we've uh, had uh, had winter hit us pretty tough, but you know, didn't stop us from uh, from getting out and moving around. So what we've got here is the Spider Co. Tenacious, and this is the first Spider Co. knife that I that I've owned. Um, I'm interested to see whether, whether it's something that I like. I, I understand they've got a really good reputation. So we're going to see how, uh, how I, how I like them. See, uh, see what all the buzz is about. So here we go, Spyderco. I've heard people call, say they look more like a, a golden tick than a spider because spiders are supposed to have eight legs. So anyhow, let's uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, knocking stuff off the desk. All right. There it is. Got our, got all of our information. She's sitting on a nice little bed of foam there. No, I don't know if that's a sticker or what. But there's the, all the warranty information that you get, and all the different, like probably the different uh, types of uh, tenacious blades and whatnot. I got the plain blade. I'm not uh, too too uh, much of uh, a fan of you know combo blades or serrated blades. I don't do a lot of uh, a lot of um, rope cutting and stuff like that. But uh, there's where they're based out of Golden, Colorado. This particular knife, obviously, is made in China. But, uh, all right, let's see what we've got here. All right. There it is at first glance. A lot of you all probably already own this knife or have owned this knife. At the first glance, this is this does have a reversible pocket clip for any of you Southpaws out there. I'm a righty. You can reverse this pocket clip. It is a smooth open. Did I do that right? For you Spider Co guys, did I open that okay? This is a liner lock. You can see. A liner lock. Did I open that okay? All right. All right, let's let me get the box off to the side here. Let's set this down and get a little let's zoom y'all in here. Get a little closer look. Alright, let's compare this in size to the to the Natrix. Pretty close in size. Pretty a little bit maybe a little bit bigger. down underneath there very close in size all right let's just uh let's go over a little bit of a little bit of the the uh the specifications of it the blade length is 3.31 or 3.39 inches when it's closed 
the overall uh, the the length is uh, 4.388 in, inches. When it's uh, the overall length when it's open is 7.77 inches. The cutting edge is 3.39 inches. The blade thickness is 0.122 inches. The blade material is stainless steel. It's considered a leaf shape style. It's got a flat grind. It is a combo blade, which means it has a uh, a it has a uh, edge on both sides. The blade material or the handle material is a uh, uh, forced reinforced nylon. As we said, it's a liner lock, and the pocket clip is a uh, is a is is reversible and it's a uh, short tip up or tip down and you can see here it's got places where you can whether you want to carry it tip up or tip down so for whichever way you want to carry it and the actual name of this is the tenacious lightweight and they say the weight is 3.7 ounces but i do have scale here we're going to just test it and see exactly what the weight of it is and it comes in just under that 3.69 ounces so they know exactly what they're doing all right so all right let's uh let's see uh see how sharp she is from the from the old factory let me get a piece of paper here i know i got a piece of paper here somewhere It's just a regular old piece of uh, a copy paper. Let's see how sharp she come, is comes from the factory. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I sure got a better clip. Well, she is sharp. She is sharp. No complaints here. Man, they did a good job. Nice. She is sharp. I have no complaints at all about that. I tell you, that is a one sharp blade. How's she flick? Is, is she? She's a little tight. Is she? Is she? Yeah, might need to. Might need to work on that just a little bit. But anyhow, I uh, I have uh, I'm I'm impressed with this little knife. Well, not a little knife. It's a good sized knife. It fit. How's it fit? It fit. It, I have a pretty good sized hand. Um. Uh, it. Uh, let me back the uh, back that up again. I've got a pretty good sized hand and how's it fit in my hand it I've got all four fingers on there and it's got some good jimping up there to choke up and real nice I tell you I'm I'm impressed with this knife I think I'm going to keep it I can see me carrying this and the uh, lock on there you see in there good uh, I'd say good that's a good it's all the way over there no complaints there uh, one-handed one-handed operation and I'm not a lefty at all but uh how about, can I hit, can I can I open it left handed? Yep. I tell you, it's um, not a bad not a bad knife. I think it's a keeper. Those of you who own the own the 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 Spider Co Tenacious, what do you think of it? Is this something that you've kept? I mean, it, it feels like and. And um, 
Yeah, there's no play there. It's a good solid. It's good and solid. I'm not... Uh, I'm usually not one. I don't care. I, I, I'm, I'm, I like to par patronize th the things that are usually made in the United States, but it's just so daggone hard to find things that are affordable. They, you know, that that are in the budget, and then they it, and, and that are budget knives that are made in the United States. Another thing is notice it you can see all the way through it good so you can clean that out. That's good. See all the way through the knife so you can clean that out. That's good. And uh let me see this. That's a good solid some of the um, some guys keep these on, some people don't. Um I use, I'm not one really to use the clip. I just put put the pocket in my put the knife in my pocket. Um, I've seen some guys, you know, you, you show you how this works in the in in the uh, but in in the uh, in, in the in the pocket. Um, this looks like it would work fine. It, it looks like it would slip into the pocket fine. Um, yeah, this is this this uh, this uh, I'm I'm fully impressed with this knife. Um, what do you what's your what's your all's uh, take on this? Do you like do you like the this the tenacious? Is this someone that you've kept in your in your uh, in your in your uh, arsenal? Let me know. Other than that, hey, I appreciate you checking out the uh, the channel. It's a start. It's just starting up. I'm going to start. Uh, I've never taken apart any knives. I have ordered. Uh, I just ordered and gotten in this uh, little Weha set bit selector. And um, Weha Stubby um, Bit Driver, and also I ordered and got in some KPL Heavy Pivot Lube uh, Knife Pivot Lube uh, Oil, and some some uh, you know things to to uh, clean knives and. And keep them oiled up good. So I'm going to learn to start um, taking apart knives and, and maintaining them well. And once I get comfortable doing that, uh, we'll start doing that on the on the on the channel as well. And uh, yeah, I I like this knife. I think I'll keep it. And um, until then, y'all stay safe out there. And uh, please like, subscribe, and. Uh, Take care and uh, keep on cutting.